biggest issue with licenses here is that so this is uh, the Vietnamese traffic police in their beige uniforms they got the truck with them today so that means they are confiscating motorbikes if you don't pay so today's video folks is about driving licenses I thought I'd uh, I thought I would get into this topic a little bit and share with you the information that's available as of late 2022 it's very confusing in regards to driving licenses what you need what you're allowed to to use here etc etc so let's uh, let's get into it so can you drive on your home license here well it's a little bit confusing and my research does indicate that an IDP international driving permit is available and that's valid depending on your home country where you actually get the IDP from and how long your license is what type of license you have etc but if you have a home license especially a home license that entitles you to ride a motorbike then you should be able to get an IDP with a one to three year validity from your home country that will cover you in Vietnam and I'll leave the link again below in the comments guys so you can have a look at this and research for yourself but it does seem that that is accepted here but it has to be the official IDP not the RAC, the AA, things like that in the UK but I do hear stories of local police not accepting this but it could be just a language problem because obviously that's going to be in the language of your home country so if you're going to get an international driving permit make sure that you take a, you get a, a translation done of that permit and a translation of your home license and carry that with you on your bike so when you get stopped if you get stopped you'll be able to show the the police a, a Vietnamese translation of your IDP and your home license so the situation as of 2022 is this guy so if you don't have any kind of home license, so no car license, no motorbike license, then you're going to need to do a Vietnamese theory test and a practical test before they give you a license. And that's going to be really difficult for you because the theory test is 200 questions, I believe, and it's all in Vietnamese and it's fairly technical as you can imagine. So unless you're fluent in Ping Viet, that's going to be kind of hard, I think. What licenses are available here? So we have the A1, the A2, car license, truck, lorry, minibus, so kind of similar to most countries. But the, the license you're probably going to be most interested in is the A1 and the A2. A1 entitles you to drive a motorcycle up to 175cc. A2 allows you to drive bikes over 175cc. All these scooters you see around are rated at between 115 to 155cc. Typically they're 125 or 135 and I find those, I find these more than adequate for getting around. I don't use a scooter very often myself but they're fast enough for sure. Interestingly enough the electric bike which I test drove the other week, you do need an A2 license for that because the rated power is something like 7 kilowatts I think and the translation in horsepower makes it equivalent to over 175 cc motorcycle so for the electric bike I drove the other day and I'll leave the link to that in the comments hey all right <laughs> always nice when I get stopped by a pretty lady on a motorbike <laughs> So for the vast majority of folks coming to Vietnam to live, to work, or just for a long holiday, they will require, or they will want to have an A1 license. So that will cover you for any scooter, any small motorbike here. So if you don't have any kind of license from your home country, that means you're going to have to sit the Vietnamese theory test and the practical test, which is very inconvenient, but it's doable, depending on your Vietnamese. If you have a car license from your home country, but not, a, but not a motorcycle license, then you can skip the theory test and just do the practical test. And I'll leave some details here, guys, for you to see. So the, the practical test is <laughs> very, very easy. You just gotta do a figure eight a couple of times. 
there's no testing on the real road. There's no real road training here. It's, it's crazy to me, you know. <laughs> and it's probably why the driving here is so kind of erratic and dangerous is people just basically have to do a figure eight a couple of times. And if they can do that, they get their, their driving license. Uh, this is done on private land, not out on the, on the real road. So if you have a car license, you just need to do your Vietnamese driving test and then you will have a license. The biggest issue with licenses here is that as of last year, they only match the length of your visa or your TRC. So this is really convenient because Vietnamese typically get a 10 year license or longer. And as someone living or working here, you're gonna get a one year, two year, possibly three year visa if you're married. And then you're gonna to have to go through the whole process again of renewing your license here, which is kind of annoying. It's not too difficult to do. Uh, you go into District 3 here, you're gonna get your documents, so your passport, your TRC, two passport photos, uh, and a form filled in. Get these notarized stamps so they can authenticate them as being original copies of your passport TRC. They take a photo of you in the office, and then if you want, you can pay, I think it's like 20,000 and they will post the license to you. You just pay an extra dollar, less than a dollar. And then they will post the license to any address. So it's quite convenient. And it typically takes around 10 days. The last license I got a while ago, it took about 10 days to arrive. So what's the easiest option? Well, if you have a driving license, from your home country that entitles you to drive a car and a motorbike then it's just a matter of converting your home license to a local license and that's that's pretty easy that's what I normally do so so you would go along to the office with copies of your visa of your license of your home license and your passport and some photos uh, you also have to get these translated so you have to get your home license translated and then get that copy certified notified stamped And it's going to take you a couple of hours, probably. But the total cost for that is less than 500,000 dong. I think it's about 435k I paid last time. So it was about 20, 20, 25 US dollars. It's very, very cheap. And that's your license sorted then for however long your visa is. You are able to ride electric and gas powered vehicles here under 50 cc without a license at the moment there are new stories popping up that they're going to require licenses for everybody riding bikes under 50 cc so pretty much any vehicle is going to need a license but the issue they have is most of the school kids here especially in the countryside they they ride these kind of granny style electric bicycles and that's how they get around and that, that's going to mean that they're going to have to get licenses and it's a real pain so I can't see that coming to fruition, personally, but it might do. There are various agents who will offer to get you licenses. It's not so common these days. Uh, it used to be very common that you could pay a, a fee and then a few weeks later, a license may magically appear in your post box. Not that we really have post boxes here, but this seems to be stopping now and you can still use agents to do the service for you they're probably going to charge five six million but just be aware that the real cost is less than five hundred thousand and it's not that hard guys oh and one last tip for you don't forget to wear trousers when you go to the license office i forgot to wear trousers last time because i always wear shorts here because it's so damn hot and uh they wouldn't let me in. So I had to go all the way home, put on a pair of trousers and come back. So any kind of government building, even ones to do with driving licenses, you've got to wear trousers if you're a man. If you're a woman, as good is fine. <laughs> all right, folks. So just a very quick overview of uh, getting a license in Vietnam. Uh, I would recommend that you do get a license if you come here to live.
for obvious reasons. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. Hope the information has been useful, folks. Have a great weekend. Catch you later.